armed and dangerous and within sight of the white cliffs of Dover, the might of the Russian Navy. Belching black smoke, the aircraft carrier, Admiral Kuznetsov, wasn't going to win any environmental awards, but that wasn't the point. The flotilla was just passing the UK and remained in international waters for its sail past. HMS Duncan was there just to make sure. Russian aircraft and ships like to push things, but today seems to have passed without incident. It did give the Royal Navy the chance to size up the competition, and superficially the Russians were less than shipshape. They are en route to the Mediterranean to boost air power over Syria, but they didn't need to do it like this. Oh, it's a big show. Christmas is coming, pantomime season. They want to show that Russia still has a navy and it's still in the fight to support Assad. That's where these planes are going to be needed, a bit further down the line, not an immediate fight for Aleppo, but they know they've got to stick by Assad with all they've got. They've got 30 to 40 aircraft. The Russian fleet set sail from its base on the Barents Sea and headed south past Norway and into the North Sea. Remaining in international waters, one of the narrowest points was the Strait of Dover in the English Channel. The Russian fleet will later enter the Mediterranean through the Strait of Gibraltar and then head east to be stationed off the coast of Syria. Russia insists it's targeting terrorists in Syria. The West does not believe that. Theresa May says Moscow is behind sickening atrocities in support of the Assad regime. In the fog of war, this was just another show of force. On the day that the container ships and tankers had to share the busiest stretch of water in the world with the might of the Russian Navy. Simon Weiger, 5 News.